Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode six in our Best Gifts of 2022 series. As promised, in this episode, we will be focusing on the gourmet indulgences from our friends at Trader Joe's. As with the other episodes in this series, we are searching far and wide to offer a gift set and gift guide to the most impressive gifts for the least expensive prices. One way we are looking to accomplish this is to create self-contained gift sets, which use part of the gift as the container or base, which not only cuts back on cost, but also waste. Let's start here with these Trader Joe gift set ideas. For the first self-contained gift, I wanted to start with this gorgeous Pound Plus bar as the base. To that, I'm going to add a canister of chai latte and salted caramel hot cocoa. And then the piece de resistance has to be these adorable gingerbread cookie mug hangers. And then from here, all I did was stack them, starting with the chocolate on the bottom, then the two canisters and topping with the cookie hangers. Wrap with some cellophane, add a bow, and you have a perfect example of a self-contained gift. Much better to spend your money on chocolate than shred. And then here again is another idea, again using the pound chocolate bar as the base. But this time I'm switching out the drink mixes for toffee chips and chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. I then stack them as shown to create quite the hefty sweet treat coming in at just about $12. Next up is a similar stack, this time using a box of peppermint creams as the base, then a box of salty honey toffee crackers, and then topped with peppermint pretzel slims. I stacked and taped into place as shown, this time creating a festive red and white collection coming in at around $11. Let's change it up a little here with these Danish butter cookies in a lovely blue and white folk pattern canister. I thought the perfect complement to this would be these hot cocoa spoons that make a cup of hot chocolate by placing it into a cup of hot milk. Before attaching the cocoa spoons to the canister, I first wanted to tape back the cellophane on the bottoms to create a flatter surface. After I taped back all the bottoms, I wanted to tape the spoons together with one piece of tape at the top and one at the bottom and I will be using five spoons. Then once they were all joined together, I placed on top of the canister, completing the circle of spoons and also attached them to the lid of the canister, again with some tape. To better support the structure, I added some tissue paper to the center. A pretty multicolor bow to the top completes this sweet little cookies and cocoa tower, coming in at just about $10. Here is another delightful tower, again mixing those beautiful blues with red and white. In this combo, I'll be using a canister of almond windmill cookies, some minty mallows, and a bear-shaped hot cocoa ball. I love how the colors on all these pieces come together to create a beautiful set. However, what I'm not loving is how these cookies come in a plastic container. To give it a little bit of an upgrade, I'm going to take a piece of red and white striped fabric, I actually picked this up at Dollar Tree, and then use it to cover the top of the plastic container. Once it's covered all around, I secure it in place with a rubber band, and I do use a larger piece of fabric so it's easier to work with. And then I just cut off the excess all the way around. I chose a red and white striped bow to top it off, and this adorable set comes in at around $10. Let's do something a little sweet and savory. This next combo uses a four pack of cranberry ginger sparkling beverage as the base. Add to that a canister of a spicy snack bar mix and English toffee to top. And again, we have a plastic container that can use some dressing up. And in this case, I'm going to be using this red and green plaid fabric to do the trick. As a side note, if you're worried about the fabric fraying, you can use pinking shears to cut a jagged edge, or you can pre-spray the area you intend to cut with some adhesive spray or paint a strip of Mod Podge in the same area. And either one of those will keep your fabric from fraying. And then this is how this one comes together, a wonderful selection of tasty treats with multiple flavors of the season, coming in at about $13. And then before we move on to other gift set types, here's a quick and easy tower made of a selection of snack canisters, including the snack mix in both regular and spicy, and a canister of my favorite, Nuts About Rosemary. Just stack and tape together and add a complimentary bow. Now, if you're more of a traditional gift basket person, then this next section is perfect for you. And again, in the interest of minimizing cost and waste, I would encourage you to consider thrift shop options for your containers. Here is a selection of containers I just picked up recently at my local thrift store, and they only cost about a dollar or two each. 
for the first set, I'll be doing one of my daughter's favorites, a cookie butter themed basket, which includes, of course, cookie butter, a box of cookie butter sandwich cookies, the speculous cookies that started it all, a couple of those hot cocoa stir spoons, and a color coordinated bag of coffee lovers chocolate covered espresso beans. For the container, I'll be using one of those thrifted baskets that I picked up for just a dollar that I have since washed and dried. And then this is how it all came together. A beautiful and delicious treat for all of those cookie butter lovers on your list. Coming in at about $15. And I will be leaving these sets unwrapped so that you can better see the components and how I arrange them. But if you are looking for tips on wrapping as well as other gift basket pro secrets, be sure to check out this video, which I will link here and in the description. For this next combo, I'm going to start with a box of organic hot chocolate, one of these mini panettones, a bag of peanut butter cups, a large candy cane, and a mug that I picked up at Dollar General for $2. For the container, I'll again be using a thrifted basket, this time removing the fabric liner that came with it before washing and drying. And then here's how it all comes together. A delightful little basket full of holiday cheer coming in at just about $12, including that beautiful basket. Also, the mug with the peanut butter cups and candy cane would make a great small gift, coming in at under $5. As a matter of fact, Trader Joe's has a wide selection of small treats priced between $1 and $2. Just pick up a couple of these and add them to a mug and you have a wonderful small gift. Make it a thrifted mug like one of these options here and it's even better. And now how about a little bit more of a practical gift for all of those pasta lovers or cooks on your list? This color coordinated selection includes pasta, olives, artichokes, some scrumptious looking black truffle alfredo sauce, chickpeas, capers, a garlic mustard sauce, dressing, and polenta. What a feast and coming in at just about $22, much less than you can get a comparable gift elsewhere. And now back to some holiday sweet treats, including this ginger brew, sweet and salty snack mix, toffee bites, a waffle cookie, and candy cane, all together in this thrifted bucket that I picked up for just 75 cents. It does have some scratches here at the top, but nothing that a little bow or other decoration can't cover up. And then this is how it all comes together, beautifully coordinated in that bright Christmas red, and then a little pine and ribbon cover up that scratch perfectly. When I saw this ice bucket for just $1.50 at my local thrift store, I knew it was a perfect container for a two buck chuck combo. Since it's a large container, I made sure to stuff the bottom with tissue paper before adding the decorative shred just to the top. And in this combo, I'll be using some brioche toast, a package of Volpe Super Sod, a bottle of Pinot Grigio two buck chuck, which is now four buck chuck, by the way, and a jar of olive tapenade. And then this is how this combo came together with the addition of a couple sprigs of evergreen and pine cones, and it comes in at just about $16. And then here is a Cabernet Sauvignon combo, this time using the tapenade, a package of cheese bites, and olives, and then one of these adorable black and red check ornaments from Dollar Tree. The container is a tall basket that I again picked up at the thrift store for just $2. And then here is how it all comes together. A wonderful gift coming in amazingly at just about $12. And then if you can't decide between red or white, do both along with a canister of Nuts About You Rosemary Mix and these gorgeous chocolates, one a chocolate coffee and the other an 85% bar from Uganda. The chocolates come in this beautiful packaging that coordinates perfectly with both the bottles of wine and the nut canister. This $2 crate from the thrift store will make the perfect container. Everything comes together beautifully to make this impressive gift coming in at just about $22. In addition to thrift stores, I would also encourage you to check out items you may already have. I've had this star basket for years and then with the simple addition of a couple of Dollar Tree ornaments to the front, I gave it a whole new life. And it became the container for quite the substantial gift basket. Included are two bottles of wine, a package of chocolate covered almonds, a bottle of hot honey, a bag of cheese bites, a package of olives, wafer cookies, a candy cane, a bag of elote dippers, a bag of sweet and salty snack mix, and toffee bites. 
But don't just look for baskets around your home. Other items make great containers too, like this carton that my Chromebook came in. Electronics boxes tend to be sturdy and very well made. And in this case, I simply removed the box top and then covered any rough edges with this decorative washi tape. Because it is a large container, I want to fill it first before adding the decorative shred on top. And in this case, I'm just using some brown paper packing material that came in a package I received. After that, decorative shred goes on top, and I am purchasing this shred at Dollar Tree. And now it's ready to go for a multitude of different gift box options. For this first grouping, I selected complementary items that are also complementary in color, featuring mostly black and white or black, white, and green packaging. I started knowing that I wanted to build the selection around the crackers, then chose items such as the tapenade, ginger spread, olives, and chickpeas that would pair well with them. The snack bar mix is a nice compliment, and the toffee chips offer a sweet treat. I filled in any spaces with some decorative pine and pine cones, making a terrific gift for just about $22. And then here is another option, this time using pasta, wine, sauce, and other treats, coming in at an amazing $16. And then here we have another option where we have half savory on one side and the other half sweet, coming in at about $20. And then here's another option for that cookie butter set, all the same options, just as delicious and beautifully displayed. However, if thrifting or making your own containers is not your cup of tea, don't worry, you can pick up well-priced containers from many retail sources. Most inexpensively would be Dollar Tree and Dollar General, which you can see a selection of here. For example, this adorable box from Dollar Tree is well-made and fairly large at about 8 by 10 inches. Not the hugest container, but it can hold a few items to make a nice gift box set. I filled it with some shred and then added a selection of those smaller candy items from earlier and everything works well together to create a cute little gift box set. How about this idea for this adorable North Pole Express box from Dollar Tree? It kind of looks like a book. It's really sweet. Um, it doesn't hold much, but I found that it is a perfect container. Some Trader Joe spice bottles. These are the ones that are the citrusy garlic and the lote and chili lime. And uh, just be make note and be careful because Dollar Tree does sell these boxes in different sizes. This one is the larger size. It's the same box, just one's larger, one's smaller. And um, also the other one as well has different sizes. And then this green and red plaid box also makes another great container, also from the Dollar Tree. And with this one, I'm going to tape the lid to the side of the box like this. Then I'll add some shred and then place my chili onion peanuts and a selection of chopsticks in the box. The next box is from Dollar General, and I will again tape the lid to the side of the box. I'll fill with shred and then take a selection of Trader Joe's chocolates. These are all just $1.99 in this beautiful packaging, and I'm going to arrange them and tape them together, then place them in the box and add some decorative pine and berries. And now for something a little different. I'm going to take this tin from Dollar General. It's in this pretty candy stripe with a pretty red ribbon on top. I'm gonna to fill it with some shred, and then I'm going to do a little selection of hot stuff from around the world. So here we have the Italian bomba sauce and some harissa. And then to the middle of that, I'm going to put the gochujang sauce from Korea. And that makes just a great little selection of hot stuff for anyone on your list who loves the burn. And then lastly, these little boxes from Dollar General are just adorable, so well made, and make the perfect containers for little items like we saw earlier in the mugs to create small gift sets. Here is the smaller $1 box filled with a selection of Joe treats. And then here is the larger $2 box also filled with those $1 to $2 Joe treats. Well, I hope you have enjoyed episode six of our best gift sets of 2022 series. If you liked the video, please remember to give a big thumbs up and please let us know in the comments which one was your favorite. If you have not yet seen episodes one through five, be sure to check those out where you will find 30 more ideas per
per episode on great topics such as a spa and bath, sports, games, and fitness, hobbies and interest, teen and young adult, and number five, yummy treats. I will provide a link here and in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.